Welcome to a Tuesday edition of Auto Week TV. Coming up, you'll flip over the trick that skateboard star Rob Durdeck pulls with a Chevy Sonic. But first, let's get started with some car news. Nissan is among the latest to talk about its plans for the Detroit Auto Show, where it will give us a first look at the redesigned Pathfinder SUV. It gets the ball rolling with this teaser image, which we've enhanced for a slightly better view. The new Pathfinder goes on sale this fall. It will still have seating for seven people in three rows and four-wheel drive. But the Pathfinder is switching to the platform that will also be used by the new Infiniti JX. That means there will likely be a front drive version too. Both the Pathfinder and the Infiniti SUV will be built in Nissan's plant in Tennessee. Fans of the 1967 Ford Mustang convertible don't have to wait until they find one hiding in a used car lot to live the dream. They can build one. Ford has added the body shell of the 67 Mustang convertible to its catalog of licensed restoration parts. The all-steel body of the 67 convertible has a list price of $15,995. The body is manufactured by Dynacorn International in Camarillo, California, using virgin automotive-grade steel that is slightly thicker than the steel used on the original 67 Mustang convertible. The customer needs to make some minor adjustments to align the body panels, Dynacorn says, but the body arrives primed and ready for painting. Toyota is putting its European division in charge of global product planning for small cars. The change means Toyota will count on Europe to develop future products in the mini car, subcompact, and compact segments. That's quite a change for a company that got started developing small cars for its home market in Japan. But competitors Ford and Fiat Chrysler have also tapped their European units to lead development of small cars. Okay, let's take a look at this latest stunt with the Chevy Sonic. Chevy added a new stunt to its ad campaign with skateboarder Rob Durdeck kickflipping a 2012 Chevy Sonic. Okay, he didn't really flip it like a skateboard, but Durdeck did drive the car off a corkscrew ramp, sending the car flying through the air. Let's take a look. Took a beautiful Chevy Sonic, modified it to make it a, a full-fledged stunt machine. And everybody knows when I make my mind up to something, nobody's talking me out of anything. It's the purest concept of I can't believe I'm driving away right now. If you feel like you've seen that stunt before, you have. Go get your copy of the James Bond movie, The Man with the Golden Gun. Or watch this. Ever heard of Evil Knievel? Yes, it is still impressive. That's it for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, enjoy the drive. Thanks for watching today's edition of AutoWeek TV. Be sure to catch all the latest car enthusiast news on AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek Magazine, and in AutoWeek's iPad edition.